Okay, here we go. Let's find the equation of the line containing the given pair of points, 3, 2, and 9, 7. We'll give the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. I like writing on pink lined paper. All right, let's let point 1 be the point 3, 2. You must put parentheses around your points. Don't forget. Point 2 will be the other point, which is 9, 7. Recall the slope formula y equals uh, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the rise over the run, the vertical distance over the horizontal distance. Now substitute the numbers into the, uh, into the variables. We calculate the slope by subtracting on top and then on the bottom. After the slope is calculated, we find the equation of the line. Using the point-slope formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this will be y minus 2 equals 5 sixths the slope times x minus 3. Now you're going to notice something. This is a trick to make your life easier. I am going to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the slope. That will cancel out the slope. Then I won't have to deal with fractions. Distribute on the left and cancel on the right. And that's what I'm left with. This temporarily eliminates my fractions. Now distribute on the right side also. Six y minus twelve equals five x minus fifteen. I'm going to add twelve to both sides because I have to solve for y. The 12s cancel out on the left, and I'm left with 6y. 6y equals 5x minus 7. 3. Duh. I divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6, and I'll be left with y equals 5, 6x minus 1 half. which is slope-intercept form. Now let's type this into the answer box and notice I use the fraction tool. 5 over 6, use the right arrow key to move to the right, then type x minus fraction tool 1 half. Alright, the slope is 5 sixths, the y-intercept is negative 1 half.